Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mina. I'm currently a master's student in financial engineering. So this past summer, I did an internship uh, remotely, virtually, um, as 2020 goes, in Amazon as a business analyst intern. And I worked for 14 weeks. And when I was working, I thought what a cool idea would have been if I do something like a week in my work life, um, something I could look back on. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you enjoy, please subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah. So I am 50 minutes to nine, so 50 minutes till I start to work. Um, but I just want to share a little bit of what I um, do during my internship. So I approximately received three projects during my internship. The first project is to, like in the organization that I work at in, in Amazon, it's called Amazon Web Services. Um, also short is AWS. It's basically an organization that provides cloud computing, um, networking, infrastructure, all kind of cloud related services to smallest company all the way to very large um, companies such as like Netflix. And in operation every year, um, the organization would plan a annual planning, you would say operation plan. And people from different um, verticals inside the company would come up with ideas of a market they want to expand to, for example, or a new services they want to start creating, which would require um, hiring. Um, so they're proposing these different ideas. So this summer, I come up with like a scorecard in Excel and Tableau to help them to do that. When I think back in school is, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm still in school, but when I think back, we learn a lot of sophisticated model, which I do think Amazon uses it. A lot of people that I talk to use does, do use those model. But for day-to-day -day activity, I definitely think um, something as simple as Excel is a lot more people are more comfortable with. That's why you're creating with Excel. And another thing that I work on is to help my manager with some promotion impact analysis. And that one, I finished it in R. Um, I actually brought this analysis up when I was networking with other teams um, just to know, broaden my uh, perspective because AWS and Amazon is huge. Um, so in one of the team that I brought up, um, the manager is actually really interested. And then she asked me to talk to a few more analysts, um, see if I could help. And I'm like, yeah, like I have free time, so let me help. Um, so that is how I come across my third project, which is analyzing the impact of credit that AWS give out to their customer to um, the revenue impact. Actually, there's one more thing I want to show you. This is a snack box. Um, it come like this, actually. It come wrap up very nicely. Um, so this snack box is my teams at Amazon. They have like work from home. So um, they're so kind to send me the snack box. It's a little bit messy, but this is the laptop. They gave out Windows and Mac, and I'm really glad they gave me Mac because I'm more comfortable with Mac, but I ended up needing to use Windows so to do some work. This monitor is actually quite amazing. So yeah, that is my very simple desk tour. Hi, checking in. Another thing that I think um, every day that I think is a very good survey that Amazon come up with is every day um, when I open up my work laptop, it will pop up something like um, how I'm feeling with my team, my work, my productivity. It's like one simple survey. I think that is very human centric. <laughs> so a new habit that I started is trying to finish my collagen powder. It is weird. I put two children's smoothie and then frozen fruit. Now, 
I'm gonna do this up and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge and then when we go to the beach later today we order pizza and then one of the things that I really like to do is having a pizza and then maybe drink something and then go onto the beach in like Santa Monica in LA like afternoon watch the sunset see you guys continue on Santa Monica Boulevard for two miles oh right now I got my smoothie and then I am going to the beach with my boyfriend. We just ordered pizza from Papa John's. I finished my internship around, sorry, I finished my work day around 5, um, sometimes 4.30, but even if I finish earlier, sometimes I do tend to just work throughout the night. Um, and then it's it might be bad, but like I just like I want to wrap things up and then um, it's part of me that like I just want to do it. So sometimes I do do that and yeah so we are going to the beach right now i got a few coffee chats i talked to because i'm currently in aws which is a separate organization while still together in amazon so i talked to several people in amazon today to learn about Today is Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020, last day of my internship in Amazon, virtually. Um, I just finished my morning meeting today at 8 o'clock, which is earlier than what I usually do, um, but this is a special one with teams across the world accommodating the time. Anyway, at this point, I feel very grateful for the whole experience, but at the same time, if you could not tell, I am a little bit sleep deprived because it's my last day and I actually need to document my last project. Um, I wrote code, I wanted to put some nice comments and explain my logic so the analysts I work with could take over smoothly. Amazon has a big writing culture which I really appreciate and I feel like writing down your thought and logic and giving context to what you're doing um, is helping each other out and helping yourself down the road. When you look back, you understand. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do some work. Let's get started. Last day of internship. See you guys.